can still remember the days when I started uh, outside on the grass with a wind up for Holden bottle jack and the old 57 Chevy. You know, that was many, many years ago now, obviously. And then we, we built a little six for nine shed and I thought I'd made it, you know. And when I actually put a little bit of concrete outside that shed to wash parts on, I thought, oh, wow, you know, I'm top of the tree here now. And, uh, you know, we've got quite a, uh, quite a facility here nowadays. We've got a machine shop, a CNC lathe and a CNC mill, 3D print shop. Uh, got all the facilities like this room here for assembling the cars and an engine room next door and uh, growing over the long, long time, over 40 years I suppose, uh, more than 40 years into what we've got here today. But um, what keeps it going is the fact that we just love drag racing, we love cars and what makes it tick most of the time, Benny, he, uh, he's always in here doing something and getting the cars ready and stuff. It's, uh, we sort of, it's a multi-purpose shop, you know, it's got a lot of stuff in here nowadays. We do all the engine maintenance and all the engine building ourselves in-house. Uh, and all the transmissions, superchargers, we, you know, we go through everything all the time. The engine room's just kept nice and clean. Everything's all stainless steel and stuff to keep it nice. We've got a head bench and all the stuff in there, but um, we like just to have a bit bigger one than most. We've got sort of four bays in there. We can do four engines at once and keep them all separate, as well as the head bench. We've got a panel shop out the back, and I've and, uh, got a little collection of US muscle cars and stuff. So, uh, and of course, the old faithful black Chevys out there too. So, the main ones that we use, it's uh, obviously my black Chevy, uh, the one that we've been drag racing now for, for several years. It's been going really well lately, and great to get back in it, by the way. Uh, I've got Benny's Corvette here, and then Benny's Toyota Solara, the six cylinder, which he just ran at the gym a while back, and um, starting, to, starting to make some sense out of it, get some good numbers out of it. So, there's the three cars. We've got Frankie's old car, friend, Frankie Taylor ran this year. It's in next door there. This is a question that comes up quite often is, uh, Victor, do you actually use the Gulf Western oil in your car that comes off the shelves? Is it an off the shelf oil? And you have an answer for that, don't you? Yeah, I do. The answer is uh, you go down to um, Super Cheap or Repco and buy some, bring it back and we tip it in the motors, run it all day. They're Comp R range that we use. It's off the shelf Comp R range. We use them in our door slammers, and Ben's actually used it in his, in his six cylinder now. Like, once you've got someone like Rob in the tech department down at Gulf Western who can explain things to you and make you comfortable about what you're using. Over the years, we've never put like a 2550 in that car, but once you've got someone that explains it to you why you can put it in, this is why you can put it in, this is the changes that have been made in the last five years, you feel comfortable about it. It certainly works fantastic in, the, in our supercharged door slammers, and uh, it's been tailor made for that. Ben's using in his uh, six cylinder now, working fantastic. But uh, obviously, when you put the oil in the motor, you expect it to work, you want it to work, and it has to work, and it has to do a lot of different things. It has to obviously protect the engine, lubricate the bearings, cool the bearings, and uh, it also has to keep stop it from rusting in there. There's a lot of different things it has to do, and um, you know, I'm not professing to know all there is to know about it, but I, I know that uh, when something works, you can tell that it's working. Also with our supercharged uh, door slams, they run on uh, alcohol, so it has, to put up with, it has to put up with the fact that a lot of methanol at idle and cold when you start in the morning ends up in the sump mixed with the oil, and they can handle that as well. So, but you know, the technical part of it is what interests us really, uh, and, and the way that they just go about developing products for us is just fantastic.